So hello together, here's Thomas Ginger with another cool trick for you for today and now today we want to care about the fitting between our abutment emergence profile and the gingiva. This is this small pressure or gap between gingiva and emergence profile and that's what we want to care about the next few minutes. After creating my patient's card I always write down which abutment system I use here in my system in the text box and then I go directly to the construction. In the constructions I load my system of abutment, here it's a range 6 for example and a 3.5 mm diameter. Then I click on my scan body and click on best fit matching and continue. Next step I create the upper line for my emergence profile. I need at least 4 clicks. When you have 5 ones it's also ok and if you want to correct you go to correct and draw and you can drag and drop these points to the right position you want to have. Then you click on next and we are going to place our library tooth. After positioning I click on next and now I come to that point where I adjust the fitting between my emergence profile and my gingiva. So let's have a closer look here. We have two buttons to enlarge or to make it smaller. So this is like a air pump when you pump air inside and you leave the air outside so but this is not so precise so if I click this box here I can adjust my maximum penetration my maximum intersection to the through the gingiva so let's see how it looks like but you see it's not so quite correct so therefore that's now the special trick and you go to the export mode and here in export mode you find a command it's called freeform emergence profiles and with that profile editing I can make a special cut. So to show that a little closer I go to the export tool here to the sectional view and I cut my abutment in the middle to show you a little closer what to do here. So if I add and remove material much more like here I can do that all around with a short click with my left mouse and with add material and after that I go on adapt and here I can adjust my pressure through and to the gingiva. If you want to have a cut on zero for example, this is a standard value, you will see how the result will see will look like. It's a, like a fitting directly in zero but if I want to have it a little pressure I go to minus for example minus 0 0.3 is minus 0 0.5 and then I click again on cut emergence on scan and now I get a direct fitting. After that fitting I can go to free, to flatten, to smooth and to add or remove material if I feel it necessary to add more material or to remove material. And that's it, the small trick to get the best fitting between your abutment and your gingiva. Thank you for watching and next time we have another trick. See you and on the other side there was Thomas Ginger Amagierbach. Bye bye.